Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and this is Budget with Kat. And on this channel, we do all things to become debt free. So if you're interested in saving um, and following me on my journey, I hope you'll stick around. So welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my current subscribers. I thank you so much. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe, like, hit the notification button. I try and do videos on Saturday where I do my sinking funds and then also on Wednesdays when I do my low income savings challenges, but I'm gonna add a day. And I think Will and I have decided that we're gonna do our big savings challenges, which are these boxes on Mondays. And the reason why we're doing that is because he works on his second side hustle, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so he'll have his tip money and by Monday. I also know my Etsy earnings by then for the week. So I think I can do um, or stuff my Etsy earnings in here, which I would love to show you. So a little bit of heads up. I'm so thankful. This box right here is actually sold out on my shop. I had a crazy, crazy first week of January, and I think it was because everyone was doing their New Year's resolutions. They were trying to get their budgeting together, and I cannot thank you enough. I had a huge first week of January, but it's the biggest one I've ever had, and so it's the most I've ever had to make, turn around and whatnot. I actually pulled an all-nighter Thursday night into Friday in order to finish and meet my deadlines, and so I have sold out, and what I'm going to do is try and replenish or restock try and have about 20 in my shop. That way I can turn them around faster and um, I don't get myself in a bind like that. But it's a good, good problem to have. I do have the bigger ones if you're interested. So tune in on Mondays and you'll see Will and I stuff these together. Will is my old, um, middle child but oldest son if you haven't paid attention and we have a good time. So there's that. Um, also, if you're new to my channel, I realized that I haven't really talked about my why in a while. So the reason why I started with this was because I was just tired of charging and um, adding up a couple thousand dollars a year minimum on a credit card for things I could have saved for. So I started watching the, uh, the budget community and I started watching what people do and I thought I can do this. So I started in June of last year saving and then in the fall I started doing the uh, my actual YouTube channel because mostly because A, I wanna get debt free and B, because it held me accountable. This is an amazing way to hold myself accountable, whether one person watches or a thousand people watch. It is an accountability issue for me and it's been very successful. So I thank you, thank you again. And then what started to happen is there's this amazing community. I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate your comments. I try to respond back to all of you. Um, some of them are just, hey, great video, but some of them have been, wow, thank you so much. Thank you for the low income savings challenges. Thank you for sharing your story because it's helped me and my heart just like swells with gratitude for that. So um, again, I can't, I can't thank you enough. And besides it's fun. So let's get started. Um, there's a lot to do, to do today. This video could be kind of long, I'm sorry. I try to do short videos and these longer ones, but you know, it kind of is what it is. So the first thing I usually do is empty out my wallet and I have my wallet envelopes over here. So. You guys know that my mother-in-law lives with me and I give her $100 a week for groceries. We spent all of it. Um, gas is empty, spent all of it. We got a new envelope for David. We went out of town literally for 24 hours. We spent all of it on eating out food. This is kind of my extra runaround money and there is some extra money in here, so let's count it. So it's five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Now this goes into my debt snowball. So I'm gonna put this aside so I don't forget about that. Okay, then I do have some change. I wanted to show you. This is my husband's change. He kind of dumps it right in the side table as he comes in. So I have that, and then I have some in here. I usually end up spilling this everywhere, so sorry about that. It doesn't come out very um, nice. Let's see, yeah, that's all. So it's not very much, but it'll add up. And this goes on my trusty little owl bank that I just love. Yay! So we'll just put it in here real quick. I don't wonder if anybody else is saving their change. We have several um, coin jars, buckets. I don't know, one of them is in like a, an old peanuts or cashews plastic jar that we got from Costco and it has change in it. And we usually cash it in if we go on a trip, it becomes like extra grocery money or whatever. But I love my little owl. I got this on a cruise that Will and I went on and we were in um, Cancun and I got it in a little shop there. So there's that. Okay, so let's put this away. And 
us get out our money, shall we? I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys have had a good start to your year. Man, it's been crazy. Ooh, crazy, crazy. And like I said, I can't thank you enough for the um, support on Etsy. It's just been mind-blowing. And because of that, it's also set me behind because every month I set myself a goal to either um, create more physical products or more PDFs. And I haven't been able to do either because I've been trying to make my boxes. So, anywho, enough about that. Let's count. We have 50, 1, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 330, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 4, 410, 420, 430, 440, 445, 450. So there we go. Trying to be a little bit more precise in my counting. I'm going to go ahead and apologize if I have a 50 in an envelope someplace because I always have trouble counting by odds. And so, but I'm trying to be better at that. Okay, so in here, make sure everything is still in frame. Can y'all see everything? And then, you know, guys, when I first started, all I was doing was stuffing my long-term or high priority seeking funds. And then about three or four months in, I got into trying to go to cash in my, um, in my wallet. And that has been life-changing too, not swiping my debit card all the time. It doesn't always work perfectly, but I highly suggest it. Okay. Groceries. My mother-in-law gets 100. So there's that. And I'll just literally turn around, walk out this door, go to the other room and give her this money. I'm so thankful for her because she does a lot of the grocery shopping and I hate grocery shopping so much. Okay, David gets 75, so there's 50, 60, 70, and five. Yep. And this is kind of his mad money. It's uh, if we go out to eat once or twice, because you know, if two people go out to eat, it's 40, $50 if you go to sit at a restaurant. Minimum. I mean, it's gone up so much. I can't even believe it. I give myself um, $60, 20 for gas, and 40 for run around. And I already know that this money is kind of weird right now, so I can't split it up evenly. But just trust me, I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to put it just in here for now until um, I need to separate for gas. So 20 would go in here and 40 would go in here. Okay, so there's that. Make sure you guys can see everything. Yes. Okay, so let's start with, I gotta have my choose happy in here somewhere, you guys, right? Be happy, be happy, choose happy. I wonder where I can put it. Um, we'll see, I'll probably end up moving it around. It also is my like paperweight. So this is my long-term sinking funds. These are the ones I try to always stuff no matter what, um, because these are ones that I'm saving the whole year to pay like once or twice, and you'll see. So we all know in my channel that it all started with our HOA fund. Mine is, besides with the fact that we pay very high taxes where I live, the HOA is always about $1,200 a year. And for the first time ever, I've been able to pay, um, I paid it cash, or well, by check, but I paid it all off. It all came out of here and I didn't have to charge it. And that was just, like I was in tears. I couldn't believe it. So to HOA, we're gonna add 25, so 25. And you guys, I'm starting over. So this had $1,200 in it. And now it has 20, 40, 60, 75, a mere $75. But if you stick with me by December, it will have $1,200. So see, everyone's got to start somewhere. And most of my envelopes I emptied out. Not all, but most. So for example, my Virginia taxes, I did not empty out. We're going to put 20 in here. I just carried over the small balance that I had. So here's 20. And when I add that, I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 170. And my first installment is around $450. That's usually due in April. So I'm well on my way. Income tax, I believe is going to get 30. Yes. So here's 20 and 30. Anybody else putting away extra money for income tax? Um, because we're older, because we don't have any tax or children credits anymore, um, we end up having to pay a lot. And then with my Etsy shop, I'm having to put more money in. So you all need to tune in on Monday because on Monday-ish, you'll see us stuffing my Etsy income and you'll see how I break it down for how much I'm holding for taxes and for the business operation expenses and how much is going into savings or take-home pay. And then I'll turn around and Put that money in here so just stay tuned 
So I think this is a, yes it is, oh gosh y'all, here we go, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 360, 70, 80, 85, 90, 4, 95, 400, 5, 10, 11. 4, 11. I hope I did that right. I want to count it again. Oh, I did do it right. Yay. I always fill out my trackers ahead of time so it double checks me. Yay. This one makes me like, makes my stomach hurt and sweat because anybody else out there who's doing or counting have issues with um, counting when you have an odd number? Oh, okay, so Christmas is getting 30, and I actually could have put this in my savings challenge um, one, but it's okay because I do have this mini savings tracker, and you can get this at my Etsy shop. I have a big one too, but I'm doing the minis, so let's put this 20 in here, or excuse me, 30. And this was, I had a little bit of a carryover because I thought I'm not going to spend it, I might as well just add it. Um, each of these icons are worth $50. So when I have um, increments that add up to 50, then I'll color in one of the icons and we'll move to the stockings. So I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 346. And I need to get to 350. So next time I'll be able to color in an icon. So my goal is around $1,200. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, miscellaneous savings is getting 10. This is exactly what it is. It's just um, miscellaneous. If something should happen, we've got the many. We can use it if we need to, right? So 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 415. I don't know why I second guess myself when I'm counting. Okay, 415 is correct. $10 goes into our land savings. This is my little land. I love the little RVs. I wish we could get an RV oh, or something, right? So $10 is going in here. Let's see if I have change. Do I? I do. So I'm going to put in a 20 and I'm going to take out two fives. And we'll count this too. This is also carryover money from the previous year. So here's 1,000. This is represents what's in the bank. So this should be around 320. 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Look at me conquering those $50 bills. Okay. So 13, how much is it? 13, 20. Yep. All right. This is my rainy day fun. Everyone should have one, right? It's kind of like my emergency fund. And I'm just stuffing this slowly but surely. And it's going to get $10. So I'll put $10 in here. And I think I get to color one of these when I do that. These are $25 a piece. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 75. Yes. 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 175. So one, two, three, four, that's um, 150, so I get to do one more. Yay! Okay, let me find some markers here. So I have 175. Yay! Anybody else um, doing kind of a rainy day fund to keep up? This is kind of, um, this is going to go into my emergency fund. This is where I want um, important things to go for, like, for example, if we should lose our job or if something happens and a car goes down, even though I have a car maintenance fund, it isn't quite the same, you know? Um, it's kind of a what if, like are we prepared in case something happens? So, yay, look at that. And uh, these are also in my Etsy shop and what I love about them is they're pretty plain, but they serve as kind of like the label, right? So as, you, as it starts to color up, it gets more colorful, um, it kind of comes to life. Car insurance, oh, car insurance, y'all. $20 is going in here. So I'll put in two tens. There they are. And my goal here is I'm trying to save for either an entire premium, like the whole six months premium, or I'm trying to save at least for one month. But it's, this is going to be pretty long term. It's going to take a while. So 100, 250, 
270, 290, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 355, 67. So 357, yay. So those 50s came from when I um, consolidated or bill swapped bit, uh, smaller bills into big bills. And I almost wish I could just wait to switch out them to 100s, right? Okay, so my long-term sinking funds are done. Time to turn to my, where's my short term? Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we have smaller bills, and this is pretty fast and furious. Each one's just gonna get $10. That's all I can afford right now, so that's all I'm going to do, right? Oh, goodness gracious. This thing does not wanna stay still. Okay, car maintenance gets 10, and I really need to beef this up, but you know, you can only put in what you have, right? And as much as I'd love to put hundreds of dollars in here, I can't, I just don't have it. But so far I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78 dollars. Yay, yay, yay. This really needs to be a few hundred dollars, but that is okay. Okay, debt. Debt is actually, okay, this is where I kind of need to stop for a second. I want to show you a couple things. This is where this extra money that came out of my cash envelope come from, comes from. So here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I am, but I also put ten dollars in here every month, no matter what. So we're going to put in a, a total, here's my 10. I'm going to put, um, let me put some. This is the 10 I'm going to put in for my standard um, deposit, so to speak. This is the extra, so I need to write that down. There's an extra 10. So there'll only be $20 in here total, right? 5, 10, whoops, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so, and then somebody asked me why I haven't paid on this yet. So here's how this works. I have a no interest um, credit card that I consolidated some credit card debt into. And so that's why I can wait and stall or wait for two or three months to do a big deposit. And I wanted to show you what it was. I still haven't put it in there yet. So this is my um, credit card. This was what I saved last quarter, okay? And in here is $700. And that all came from taking the extra money in here and rolling it over into here. So this $700 is gonna go toward that first payment of the credit card. I'm not gonna count it because I did all of the savings last year. So this is the new stuff. Does that make sense? So 20, um, but I wanted to explain that because somebody had asked. Now, I got this little planner or tracker from Lisa Grateful Me. It says this queen is going to be debt free. And I don't mind being transparent enough to, to tell you, that I consolidated $8,000 in credit card or other debts. And I'm just like, I can't believe I have that. So each of these little honeycombs is gonna be worth $20. As I get into here, I just wanna track what I've actually saved extra, not the payments that I'm actually paying, but this is the extra stuff. So each honeycomb is worth 20. I have 20 in here, so I'm gonna color it in. You all get to watch me do my first one. So here's 20, and I know it's yellow, it might be hard to see, but I'm gonna do like all different shades of kind of yellows and browns and oranges here. So it's a lot of honeycombs, but that's okay. So there's 20, Lisa Grateful Me. I'll put her information in the description box below. All right, so there's debt. Medical, like everything else, is getting 10. I think I can do this now. Yeah, here we go. I don't know if I can get that to stay down. $10 goes in here. And I really need to beef this up too because my husband and I are needing to do all of our well checkups. He's had a few minor health things that have come up and we're gonna have to pay for it. So 120, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's only 150, but that's okay. I, it pays for um, co-pays and minor things that come up, you know, so I'm, it's not coming out of my um, credit card or um, I'm not paying with my debit card, you know, I do have an HSA, but I'm also trying to save that money some too. This is my travel envelope, yay. Travel, 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 it also gets 10. And again, I hope to beef this up one day too. And it has 100, 200, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, right? 100, 200, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41. And I think if we decide to um, go on a trip, then I can also move some money around. My pet, I have a dog. He needs $10 as well. He needs to be groomed, and I need to get his, um, uh, what is it, flea medicine? Yeah, sorry, I can't talk today. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. 
that would be enough to cover a grooming, not enough to cover both. And last but not le least is my youngest son. I'm trying to save up for him. Um, he was going to go on a spring break trip, and that might change $10. If it changes, then I have it. I either give it to him or I give it to me. You know, it's okay. It's the thought that counts, right? So here's 100, 200, 300, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41. 300, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 41. So 341. I was aiming for 400. So it's either going to go in my, uh, towards something I want, or I'll save it if he, um, he'll be 21 in this coming up, wait, yeah, this coming up fall. So maybe I can save it to help him go on, go on a I turn 21 trip. Whew. Okay, sorry the video was so long. There was just lots to cover. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. I will see you hopefully Monday when Will and I stuff our 100 envelope savings challenges. And then again, I'll see you on Wednesday when I do my low income savings challenges in my new little shaky binder. Yay. Um, other than that, be kind to yourself. Take some time to love on your family. Stay safe and healthy. I'll see you later. Bye.